day 24, an Advent prayer to fix our eyes on Jesus. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Matthew chapter 2, verse 10 through 11. The wise men studied and followed the star that led them to Jesus. Along the way, they encountered King Herod, who told them to report the child's location back to him. Warned in a dream to return home, they did not inform the king. Father, the wise men followed the star faithfully, not knowing where it would lead them. Help us to follow you faithfully, not knowing what we will have to go through in this life, but knowing we will eventually be with you eternally in heaven. Help us fix our eyes on you, Jesus, to bow down and worship you in all, as these three kings we read about today did. Let us offer the best of ourselves as they presented you with gifts. This Christmas, as we exchange presents with each other, help us to remember that you, Jesus, are the greatest gift of all time. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, well, I hadn't shared and I kind of hinted towards it, but we are going out of town for Christmas, just my husband and I, and so I'm starting to pack, and I did go ahead and put all my hats in this bag, which I really like, that they all kind of just fit in there. I might have to put them in a little bit different, but... I did also put this in there, and what I have in here is just my lip liner, my lipstick, and my perfume. So that's something that I'll probably reach for a lot. So I definitely wanted to just keep it in here. And I'm going to start putting my boots and stuff in here. Boots and stuff. <laughs> this is also good, like when... Hello? When I want to do my jewelry, I'll probably put the smaller pouch in here too so that I can store my jewelry in it because I like to do that where, well, you know what, guys, that is the small one. What am I thinking? No, no, the small one is on my bag. Ugh, I'm getting confused. Okay, so I'm going to put all my boots on this side and then what I've already planned as far as like my sweatshirts and stuff like that. It just depends on what day we're going to actually be there that I'm going to see what I'm going to pack. But for now, I'm just going to put them in here. So I'm really thinking I'm going to wear the brown boots with the reindeer sweater first. And so that leaves these to pack. And I really want to put them in this because if they get dirty, I don't want that dirt in my luggage so I'm going to try to figure out a way I mean surely it's okay to to fold these I hope these look so big but they're a size six and a half so I don't know why they look so big so it's just those and then these black ones that's all I'm taking that's probably a lot <laughs> just for a few days. We won't be gone very long. So, you know what? I think I might put a cloth in between these or put them in a dust bag just so that I won't, like, scratch these especially. Okay, so I went ahead and put them in dust bags and that made them fit a whole lot better, which isn't that crazy because... They're the same boots. I just folded them up in the dust bags. So I have one going this way and then up and then the bottom of the other one going this way. And then they're just on top of each other. So I think that helps them fit. So since we're not going for a long period of time, we're just going for a few days. I'm just, I want to just take this luggage. If I can, I want to put my makeup bag in this bag here if it'll fit. I try to put my hats in there a little bit better, like stack them better where I would have more room. 
so I think I have a little bit of room here maybe to put I don't know that my makeup case would fit there but yeah I'll just have to see I don't want to take a whole lot y'all because like I said we're only going for a few days so let me put in here what I already have together the only thing with taking sweatshirts is that they take up a lot of space so that's the only thing that is hard so i'm gonna try to fold these in a different way maybe okay so can y'all believe that my husband liked this with that bodysuit <laughs> better than with the sweater but i like it with the sweater so i don't know i don't even know if i <laughs> i don't know we'll see what I wear. I might just wear this with the little blingy spanks with the jacket and just be done with it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, This didn't have a tag when I bought it. So they just put the little purchase thing here on the label. See? That's weird. So this is what we're looking at currently. I still need to put in like my basic stuff which I might have to scoot this over a little bit and maybe use utilize some of this space in here mocha mocha likes to be with my most expensive stuff what are you doing huh yeah you need to stop she likes to chew on those laces on my louis vuitton boots <laughs> so anyway um yeah this is the beginning and then i still have like i said my under attire and pajamas and i think that's about it I'm trying to think i'm thinking about not taking my entire makeup case although I might regret it because I have to do cleansing and I have to do um makeup so I don't know I might see if it fits in here I also thought about just taking this dress and wearing it with the blazer and that way it would be long and I could just wear it with my boots and that way, there wouldn't be a whole lot going on. I mean, I wanted to wear sequins, but I don't know. I think I'm just not really liking what I'm finding. And what I'm finding seems more expensive than I want to pay for just last minute. I think I can find a sequin skirt on Amazon or something like that. But let me get my makeup case down so I can see if it's going to fit in here. And then I also realized that if I'm going to wear that, I'll wear one of the hats that day. So one of the hats won't be in here all the time. So that's another thing about that. I really do love that bag, y'all. Love it. I like it better than my on-the-go, to be honest. So, okay. yeah. So... What I'm going to try to do is put this stuff on the bottom. That's my makeup case, my mirror, and my prescription glasses. And then just put these on top, maybe. And like I mentioned, one of these hats won't be in here. One of these hats. One of these cats don't belong. <laughs> so, and I think that also can take my strap for this not for this but my bondolier strap this one and that way I don't have to worry about whether that seeps out or not I can just put the strap on and it'll be easier to carry it I wonder if she knows that we're leaving <laughs> I'm sorry mama I'm sorry baby you're going you're you are a go go <laughs> grown girl now. 
I know you're going to miss us. I know. I think you're going to miss your snack more than us. So I think she sees herself in the mirror. <laughs> Do you see another kitty? Huh? Do you see another kitty? Oh, goodness. Okay. And then, of course, I'm going to take my cousin. So... I think what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go dressed. So I took this hat out, which helped that be better in terms of how I packed it. And I'm going to put my contact lenses in here. Like that. that little. So what's in here is my makeup bag, my mirror, my hats, my contact lenses. I packed everything else in here. I'm going to take a little climate control set. My skirt. I did put my under attire here. And some little camis and stuff that I'll wear at night. So I think that's it for my luggage. I think I have everything I need. This bag is ready. I tried to steam my husband's shirt, but I didn't do a very good job. And then we're going to take this hanging. And then I am going to take my coat, my Max Mara coat, which is this one. Because I want to stay as warm as possible. And I think this is the only biggest coat I have that will fit over my sweaters and everything and will match with everything i'm taking so i'm taking that so the only thing i have left is like my jewelry oh uh, i usually just like to wear you know a set i haven't worn this in forever my husband bought me that actually my husband bought me everything so, I don't know what I want to take. I love my little butterfly one, too. So, I might do this one. I don't know if I'm going to leave my cross necklace on. And maybe just my Louis Vuitton earrings. That's probably what I'll take. Okay, I kind of like this little stack. Just doing this necklace with this one that kind of has the little... And then this one and then with my Louis Vuitton earrings I'll just have to put it on and see the lengths on these this one I can adjust I know but this one I cannot this one I can so hopefully it'll work out I like that little stack there and I only take one like I don't take multiple I used to but I just don't anymore. I don't care to switch out every day. I just wear the same thing every day. So there it is. Who do you see, mamas? Who is it? <laughs> okay. So everything ended up fitting. I just put some extra cuddles in here it's gonna be so cold y'all so when you're watching this i will be in waco texas no i will be in san antonio so that is what i am taking and my hats and everything ended up fitting in here i did take the hat out that i'm gonna wear that day so basically tomorrow hopefully you should be watching the video of things we did on christmas eve no on the 23rd and then on christmas eve let me think this through. 
yes, on Christmas Eve, you'll see what we did on the 23rd. And then on Christmas Day, you'll see Christmas Eve. And then maybe I'll post one more video just of our dinner, maybe. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to post. But I'll post through the 25th and then... That'll be it for the year, but my husband's shirt got wrinkled again, <laughs> so all that steaming didn't do it any good, but I'm going to take my little bag for my clothes because I am taking my blazer, and as you saw yesterday, I'm taking my Burberry cardigan that I just bought and then I'm taking my Max Mara coat because it is going to be cold y'all in fact I probably need to take look at this little I just realized I had this this is a fake <laughs> scarf not a fake scarf but a scarf I found at Ross this was curious to see how the, they look side by side. Not too bad. Almost close. I was trying to check out that red. This is more of a Christmas red. And this one is more of a burgundy red. But anyway. Um, and then I have this gray one. That is also from Ross. But I don't think I'm going to take a scarf. But what I do want to take is some gloves. So I think I'm going to take these that I bought some years ago. These are my Vince Camuto gloves. I think I'm just going to put them in here since I'm taking this in the car. I don't think I'm going to be wearing gloves. So, I have my Gucci scarf in there. I just, I'm so torn about that. They came out with another stupid mess, Gucci. Ugh, I'm so tired of these brands being controversial. But anyway, so as far as my jewelry, I'm going to keep the same stack that I mentioned the other day. Oh, I did paint my nails gold. I did it, so it'll probably come off. It'll probably fall off soon. But just my bracelets, my rings, my necklaces. I'm going to take off the necklace I have on now. And I'm going to take my cousin. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow. And I'm going to wear a tank underneath this just to kind of stay warm. My boots. And then I'll probably post pictures maybe on Instagram. I'm not sure. I usually don't do that until I get back. And if, this is a very short trip. Like, we'll be back on Monday. It's a very, very short trip. We're just going for Christmas, and then we'll be back. So, anyway, I'm wearing my little beret. <laughs> my little beret hat. And, yeah, so that's everything for today. And hopefully I'll be able to go to Neiman Marcus to ask about the Burberry cardigan I feel kind of weird about doing it but I really feel like I need to take my paperwork and then let them see the tag there's no other tags on it like there's no tags from Neiman Marcus on it which is weird to me but anyway I'm gonna take hopefully that by Neiman Marcus and then do the shopping of the other items that are on my wish list I don't know if I'm gonna get anything but definitely those are things that I'm on the lookout for so yeah super excited i pray to god for a safe trip both health wise travel wise everything just pray that to and fro lord to and fro so if you're traveling i pray for travel mercies for you too that we all come back to our blessed homes and blessed lives and start the new year refreshed and i'm really excited about being off from work so i'll be off starting actually today yesterday through 
I don't go back to work until the third, so I'm really excited about that. So Miss Mocha will be on her own for a couple of days, so hopefully she'll be okay. It's supposed to be really cold, so we're gonna leave the house warm for her. She'll be okay. You'll be okay, right, Mama? You'll be okay. Yes. Okay, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>